Paul Brarin from TinkerTry.com here, and I want to show you my home lab. You're looking at me in my office. This is where I've got triple monitors in front of me and my Xeon D12 core behind me, the next bedroom over with 20 foot cables running to it. So my primary workstation is a Windows 10 VM running under vSphere uh, and an ESXi host running 7.0 update 1A. So that's what the lab looks like around me. My control center for the lab looks like. Now looking at my desktop here, cutting over to my workbench, this is all the stuff I remotely control using remote desktop. So I remote desktop a, a laptop for my day job work. I've got an external monitor here. I've got a Synology NAS. I've got a UPS here and a mini tower Xeon here and some M.2 gumstick drives I'm testing over here and a tripod recording it and some overhead LED lights I installed. And uh, that's kind of the look at my home lab, which has a whole bunch of stuff within arm's reach to change out drives and GPUs and so forth and my variety of projects. So that gives you a quick look at how I do things. Let's look at vSphere a little bit. This is the VM I told you about. It's a Windows 10 VM that is my primary workstation and it's auto started when this system boots. Let's go back to the server view. I've got one host uh, dual booted to another task right now. So it's not running SXI, but the other three are. And if we go back here, you'll see 32 CPUs total when they're all booted. And my VMUG Advantage license covers all that. Now that VM I was telling you about is kind of special. You could call it rather large. It's given a whopping 48 gig of RAM. So that's it for my quick look at my home lab. Hopefully you found it helpful. And thank you for watching.